This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Three reasons why you need a laser as a catastrophe property field adjuster, or even more importantly, as a daily property field adjuster. Reason number one, it is gonna be the most accurate, right? When you put this on a flat surface, it's gonna add this distance to itself, and you point it at whatever you want it to measure, and it gives you 10 foot, seven inches, right? With some fractions on there. I can't see because my glasses, I don't have my glasses on. Um, so extremely accurate, lightweight for what it is. This, this particular one's pretty durable. This is a, a Hilti, which is a little bit of a, more of an industrial one. I, you can't really find these at like Home Depot and stuff. You can order them, um, but they, it is extremely accurate to the, however accurate you want it to be down to the millimeter or whatever. Um, but this is gonna be the most accurate. Number two is gonna be by far the fastest way to get measurements inside of a room, right? So you can be like, all right, I wanna get the dimensions of this particular room. All I gotta do is do that, right? And it gives me, probably can't see that, but it gives me the up to four dimensions, right? It's, it's, there's a high ceiling in here. I can grab that one too, right? Probably from the floor, it makes sense. But it gives me a, up to four dimensions that I can then transcribe onto my scope sheet or into my laptop if I'm using my laptop. All right, so it's extremely fast. Reason number three is that uh, you're going to, with this thing, you, it's, it's, um, you're gonna have much less of a chance of causing damage or having the perception that you're causing damage to the insured's house in some way, right? Because if you use a regular tape measure, and you run it out across the room, right? Well, what happens if it's, you know, you want to get this wall over here to there, and the credenza is here, and you run your, you run your tape across the surface of the of nice furniture or a piano or something like that, or really nice, they just had brand new hardwood floors put in, and you're sliding this, this little hook thing across the surface of the floor, right? That's gonna probably not scratch, but the homeowner standing there being like, ah, right? And you're going, oh geez, and it's like running across the floor, right? This is the way to go for sure. Another, you know, kind of a, a flip side to that is, is also, Maybe you're working a hurricane, right? And uh, we'll use hurricane, what hurricane was that? Hurricane Jean, I think, uh, hit like Fort Lauderdale and kind of north of Miami, which is uh, like Daytona Beach and things like that. Right? And it's nothing but condos, right? High rise buildings and all the windows on the Atlantic facing sides of those buildings are blown out. Right, and so the insides of those condos got soaking wet. Summertime in Florida, you know, Florida is a beautiful state and everything, but summertime it is it is hot, right? And it's humid. It's very humid and hot. Um, and on top of that, there's no air conditioning because the power's off and all the windows are blown out. And final piece is that the people that own those condos probably live in New York City, right? And they and they weren't there during the hurricane or they were evacuated. And maybe those areas, even if they do live there, the homeowners can't go in for several days because the National Guard is there to, to, to keep looters away or whatever, right? So what happens? Do you get mold and fuzz and all kinds of stuff starts to grow on every possible flat surface? And, you know, I don't know that much about mold. I know that it, it can be a respiratory irritant. I don't think that if you like got some in a cut that it wouldn't hurt you necessarily, but I don't wanna take the chance on that. And you run your tape measure out across the room and then drag it back and you happen to slice your finger a little bit on the tape, which you will do, I guarantee, especially if you're outside using your tape. You're gonna have to use a tape measure, so you're gonna cut yourself. And it's got, you know, maybe there was some sewage water or something like that that get, was all over the floor and if your tape measure touches it and it gets in a cut or just even gets on you, right? Then you got an infection maybe, right? 
and this is going to be, you don't have to touch it to the wall, you can just kind of hold it away from the wall a little bit. Beep, beep, eight foot, three inches, right? And then you're off to the next thing. And you're not cutting yourself, you're not damaging the homeowner's property or having them think that you're damaging the homeowner's property, especially if you things got off on the wrong foot with the, with the homeowner um, and you're, you know, they already think that you're trying to cheat them or whatever, and then it's one more thing, right? Well, if the, he's in the surface of my piano, I see a scratch on there. If their tape measure went across it, and don't even open it, open it up to that, right? Um, so this thing is worth its weight in gold, which, you know, that's that much gold, um, worth every penny times two for sure. And if you get deployed on a hurricane, um, I would buy one now and just put, throw it in my kit bag with all the rest of my stuff, my tape measures and my all my things, right? Um, but if, if you think that you're gonna be working and doing any interior claims, you're gonna be doing daily claims at all, period, full stop, you need to get a laser. I don't sell them, I don't have a, a link. I mean, I, there may be a link to lasers on my website or whatever, but I don't, I'm not making any money from telling you to, to, to do this. This is a critical piece of equipment. Um, even if you get a cheap one, like a Bosch one or whatever from Home Depot, um, that's fine. This is this is the the laser that I'm pretty sure I've had two of these. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one that I had. Uh, I know I had this on the Waldo Canyon fire, and I know I had it on the Hurricane Ike in 2008. Um, I had one before this. It was a little bit skinnier that I used that I bought on Hurricane Ivan and used it for a long time until I, I think I lost it somehow. Um, so, but this is this is at least. 15 years old, this thing right here. And it's, I mean, it works exactly the same as the, the first day I got it. It's really durable. Um, and it's a, you know, this is a professional, like kind of an industrial piece of equipment. Worth it, maybe 300 bucks, three, two to $400. Um, absolutely, we get a laser um, for all those reasons. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at AdjusterTVPlus.com.